All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Hidden Gains Village Academy. I am the teacher, Barkage Sensei, and welcome back. Today, we've got part two of the uh, beginner uh, workout program. Now, this is meant to be paired with uh, the first video. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that one out and then come back to this one. So today, yes, like I said, we got another full body routine. And if you don't have time to do, you know, <clears throat> the entire workout all at once, you can definitely split it out split it up, but I definitely think it works best when it's done in a full body routine. So with that guys, let's jump into the video. All right, so kicking things off, we have pike push-ups. Pike-ups are a really solid uh, vertical pushing exercise for beginners as it's really easy to adjust the difficulty. You can do so by either bringing your feet closer to your body to make them harder or by moving your feet farther away to make them a little easier. And if you wanna make it really hard, you can place your feet on an elevated surface. Okay, so coming up next, we have bench dips. Bench dips are a great dip variation for beginners. And so as you can see, I'm demonstrating with the supinated grip here. You can do pronated or supinated grip. And the one thing I would like to point out is that it's very important to go up and down on these instead of back and forth. Okay, so once again, we've got negative dips in the routine. This was actually in the last routine, so I'm not going to spend as much time talking about these, but negative um, exercises are a very good way to learn any exercise as you're going through the eccentric contraction using the exact same muscles, and eccentric contractions are much more forceful, making them very good for building strength. All right, so moving on to pull. Now we've got assisted chin-ups. Last time we had assisted pull-ups. This time we're working chin-ups with the supinated grip. Uh, once again, we just want to focus on getting the proper um, back and bicep activation on these. Um, one other thing that's very important on these pull-ups, you want to retract your scapulas while you pull. So that basically means you want to pull your shoulder blades down and back. Okay, now we have Australian chin-ups, which are very similar to the Australian pull-ups that we had in the last video. But once again, these are just using a supinated grip. And once again, I love Australian pull-ups because it's very easy to adjust the difficulty on these. You can go farther under the bar to make them more challenging. And then you can also um, go on a lower bar to make them harder as well. All right, so kicking things off with the leg routine, we got a different squat variation than the last time. This time we're doing these side to squat, side to side squats. And I really like these because you're putting more stress on one side than the other. Okay, so coming up next, we have the glute bridge. This is our way of hitting the uh, posterior chain in this workout. Now, with these, it's really important to maintain posterior pelvic tilt. So what that basically means is you wanna bring your belly button to your spine and press up. And this way your lower back will be on the ground the entire time. Okay, so kicking off the core routine, we have uh, regular leg raises. Once again on these, very, very important to keep that core tight in posterior pelvic tilt. So as you can see on these, my entire lower back is touching the ground. Now, the reason why I stress posterior pelvic tilt so much is because on a lot of more advanced skills, such as the planche, it's very, very important to main maintain posterior pelvic tilt. Okay, so, so for the uh, next core exercise, we have window wipers, which are our way of hitting the obliques today. Now, you can do these with legs extended, or if legs extended is too challenging, you can just bend your knees and do half window wipers. Okay, and finishing off the workout, we have a max plank hold. Once again, on a plank, you wanna be in posterior pelvic tilt, and you also wanna focus on protracting your scapulas, so pushing them down and out, and uh, just hold as long as you can. All right, guys, thank you for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Um, so this is part two. Like I said, next week, we're going to drop the third beginner routine. That'll be the last one. And after that, we're going to move on to tuning, a.k.a. intermediate. So with that, everybody, thank you for checking out the video once again. Uh, thanks to all my subs, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces!